Hi, and welcome to All Aboard. All Aboard is a leisure boat concept that is made to include the demands of women without excluding the demands of men. The initiative to All Aboard was taken by Swedish Marine Technology Forum, which is an industry organization. And the boating industry knows that when families decide to sell their boat, it's typically the woman that's the driving force behind that decision. And she says, I'm not spending another summer at sea. Let's sell the boat and buy a summer house or a camper van or whatever it could be. So Swedish Marine Technology Forum decided to make a giant survey and ask women, well, what is the problem? And out of the answers they got, 10 problem areas were formulated. And the task for all aboard was solve the problems. And that's what we have done. Most of the ideas in all aboard is applicable both for motorboats and sailing boats because we saw that the problem areas were very alike. However, one idea is solely for sailing boats, and that's the Furlex system here in the front. With the Furlex system, it's easier to deploy and recover the foresail, and the actual device is located out of the way under the main deck. One of the good solutions is the gangway. You see, in Scandinavia, we berth our boats with the front first. When the boat is underway, the gangway is flush with the boat side, but when you need it, you fold it out, you expand it, and in the very front you have a ladder, so you have a good way to get on and off the boat securely. In the very front we have a specially designed fender that can cope with light knocks against a jetty or a wharf. Many people dislike boarding a boat because you have to balance around the edges. Now we have solved this in all the board by making the four-peak opening the main entrance instead of the emergency exit. So it works like this. The whole opening is a fold-down ladder. It's a big opening, there's plenty of room, and you get down as easy as this. And then you enter the private zone. We have divided the boat into three zones. A private zone in the front, a hygiene zone in the middle, and in the aft you have a social zone. In the forepeak you have the sleeping area, where you have a window that goes all the way down to where your pillow is. So the first thing you see in the morning is the sea outside your window. So re really you have a cabin with a view. Now I'm sitting in the private zone, which is a good place to be if you want to have some peace and quiet. This area is full of good storage. Up here we have storage that is inspired by airplanes, where you have small compartments, which makes it easier to organize your stuff. Down here you have room for bulkier items, such as sheets and pillows to the guest beds. Also room for the kids to store their toys and games and easily reach them themselves. So now we're entering the hygiene zone. Now, the toilet is an important area for women for a number of reasons. One is the location of the toilet. It should be as far aft as possible to save you from getting seasick if you need to use it underway. Another thing is that the room should be big enough for you to close the door, which is not the case in all boats. It should be easy to keep clean. And here we have a wall-mounted toilet with hidden piping and plain walls, which makes it very easy to keep clean. The toilet itself could be of an incineration type, or it could be biodegradable, which means that you don't have to empty latrines. Another smart solution is the bathroom cupboard, which is detachable and full of small compartments, which makes it easy to organize. So you take the whole thing home, you stock it up, you take it to the boat, and you hook it up, and away you go. Here in the shower, we have one of the more unexpected solutions. What's glowing behind me is an infraheated sauna. So it's got a lot of advantages. It's energy efficient, it heats up in second, and with the hot air you can do a lot of good things. We use it to heat the entire boat by leading it out through the ventilation system. You can also use the hot air to dry things, because honestly most of the times you have wet gear on board. But the most fun thing is that you have your own private spa. If you fold this down you have room for two in this sauna. The air heats up to between 50 and 60 centigrade and you have the cold water really close by if you want to cool down. And we think that having your own private spa on board will prolong the boating season by months. Now we are in the social zone, and here we have a number of solutions that are unusual in the boating world. One is that we have a kitchen island that actually makes cooking into a social event. We have a number of solutions in the boat that are inspired by the car industry. 
And one is this convertible roof that you can open up when the weather is nice, so you can cook under the open sky. And it has one more advantage. It's covered in solar panels. We have chosen an induction cooker for this boat, and it has a lot of advantages. It is fast, it's energy efficient, it's easy to clean, and you can lock the pots and pans with electromagnetism, so they just stay in place. Another advantage with the Kitchen Island is that you have storage underneath, where you can, for example, store your refuse for later recycling. Another nice thing with this kitchen is that there's plenty of room to prepare food, so many people can cook together. In this part of the kitchen you have the oven, you have more room to prepare food, and this is also where you wash your dishes. Now we have found out that a lot of families only wash dishes once per day while they are at sea. And this means that you have cups and glasses that need to be stored somewhere while underway. So we imagine a solution that looks a bit like this, that you have an insert where you can store cups and glasses securely. You can even dip the whole thing in sea if you want to rinse them. And while underway, you put them securely inside the sink. And it's also in this part of the social area where we have our media wall. Here we have a large built-in screen where we can navigate, we can watch TV, play games, watch movies, and it can easily be seen by everybody on board. One of the areas that is a definite concern for women is the question of safety. And especially the question if, if the person I'm sailing with falls overboard, do I have the power to bring that person up on board again? And you realize quite quickly that no, you don't, because a body is very heavy, if, especially if somebody is unconscious. Here in All Aboard, we have a solution with a built-in rescue mat that you deploy easily and it requires much less muscle power to recover somebody from the water, even if the person is unconscious. If you have a winch on board, you can attach the rescue mat to the winch, and then it's even simpler to get the person out of the water. Here at the side, we have built-in fenders that can be folded out to absorb bumps when berthing. Now, if you fold in the exposed area, you'll make the boat look elegant again. All aboard is a boat that is social, smart and safe. And the social aspect is becoming increasingly more important in leisure boating. And we know that many people want more room to be social. In All Aboard you have a solution where you easily can expand the social area when at Quayside. So here you can actually seat 14 people for a dinner. That's what I call social area. This is a reversible winch and that means that you can trim the sheet with one hand. It also means that it's safe, because when you ease out the line, you have no hands near the drum. We have placed the navigation instrument centrally, so everybody on board can participate and follow what's happening. Here we have a solution for sailing boats. In order for you to get a better view when you sail, we have taken away the steering wheel and instead put two electronic tillers, one on each side in the aft. And they are a kind of sail by wire. So you steer electronically and you can see where you're going. When you want to berth the boat, you use them as a joystick, like the ones you have on larger motorboats today. The built-in windlass makes for ergonomical handling of the anchor, and it also frees up space in the stern. The more steps under the surface, the better the ladder. This one has three underwater steps, which makes it really easy to get out of the water. This is a safety device that's inspired by the equipment that's used by the Swedish Search and Rescue Society. It's a ramp that makes it easy for you to climb back on board again if you've fallen in the water. It also makes it easier for people on board to help you up again. One of the best things with this fun and safe rescue device is that it doubles as a water slide. So when you need to use it for rescue, everybody in the family knows how to operate it, even the kids. So throughout the boat we have chosen an energy efficient LED lighting. So that means that we have ambient lighting throughout the boat which gives a nice atmosphere combined with spotlights where you really need to see. For example where you cook or where you navigate. 